Welcome back to Tennis Talk. My name's Cam Williams, and with the Australian Open happening next month, only about six weeks away, the entry list has been revealed, and there are some massive names that are on the entry list, and some massive names that are not on the entry list as well. Let's go have a look at the lists. So starting with the WTA list here, and starting down the bottom of the list, you can see there we've actually got Pavlyuchenkova coming back for the first time in a long time. She actually gets in with a protected ranking, as does Sofia Kennan, a former champion here, of course. So Kennan and Pavlyuchenkova are on the list. You can see there Raducanu, Number 75 in the world at the moment. She is also on the list. And Muguruza, a former finalist, is 56 on the list. Having a look at the top 50 that are on the entry list, you can see there Naomi Osaka, number 42 in the world currently. She is on the list, but she will be unseated, which is interesting to see. Victoria Azarenka, a former champion, as well as Rabakina, the Wimbledon champion. They're also on the entry list. They will be seated at the event as of now. Last year's finalist, Dania Collins, she's on the list. Caroline Garcia, the WTA finals winner of this year, she is on the list. And of course, Iga Sviantek, the world number one, is also on the list. But the big name that is missing is Simona Halep. She is not on the entry list, which makes us think this provisional suspension might be going a little bit longer than just the off season. And we don't know when we're gonna see her again because we don't actually have a hard date when this suspension is going to be over. So no Simona Halep on this entry list, but some massive names and some former champions are on this list. Have a look at the ATP list now and players that are outside the top 50, the big ones to watch out for, you can see there Vavrinka, he is on the list and Andy Murray, of course, former finalist on the list. Those guys are outside the top 50 or so, and there's a lot of names there, but the big ones that I think are gonna be dangerous players to watch out for, obviously the former finalist and the former champion. Having a look at the players inside the top 50, you can see there Nick Kyrgios, number 22 in the world currently. He'll be seated at next year's Australian Open at this stage. Alexander Zverev, he is on the list as well, at number 12 in the world, making his comeback to Grand Slam tennis. Novak Djokovic, I know a lot of you would love to see his name back there, he is back on the entry list. Now he was on the entry list this year, but of course had to remove himself at the last minute because of his deportation. But he's number five in the world and he is on the list. Rafa also on the list there at number two in the world. So the defending champion on the list as well. And Alcaraz, the world number one, he will be making his Grand Slam comeback after a injury plagued off season. Of course, didn't play the ATP finals, but very fun to see all those guys playing and it's going to be just like tennis again no massive exclusions on the atp tour at the moment also to make a note dominic team is on the alternates list which means that he will have to play qualifying if this list stays as is or if he doesn't get a wild card into the event so you have it the entry list and as i mentioned simona Halep not on the list which is a huge, huge deal because we don't know what's going on with her suspension. And Dominic Team at this stage is gonna have to play the qualifiers. Let's be honest, he'll get a wild card. He used to, he was a finalist here. Of course, he'll get a wild card. But let me know down in the comments below. Is there any big surprises there? He's surprised that some players are maybe not in the seedings of the event. Remember the top 32 players in the world or the top 32 players in the event are gonna be in the uh, seeds. So Nick Kyrgios, he's the 22nd seed. He won't have to play anyone like Rafa or Nole in the first rounds, but it's gonna be a hell of a tournament. We finally get our whole tournament back. Everyone can play. 